Today, I'm going to show you guys how to design a teleport UI inside of Roblox Studio. Check out our store, gfxcomment.com. Uh, we have a ton of free assets for you guys to use for your game. Uh, we have a lifetime access pack right here. So if you guys enjoy the content and you want to show some support, link is going to be down below. Thank you guys for all of your support and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Alright guys, welcome back. Um, as you can see, I have a teleport UI right here. This is actually from our cartoon sim UI kit. Um, this style is quite popular. It is not insanely difficult, but uh, I'm going to show you guys how to make this. Um, yeah, let's begin. Um, let's start with a new layer. We're going to use our rectangle right here, as you can see. And we go for the uh, color white. So here we go. Now, obviously, inside of Studio, we're going to have to replicate our um, design here. But obviously, the purpose here is to design it so we have more control. Uh, anyways, draw out your shape. I'm going to go for 25 pixels for the uh, corner radius. We can go for a nice shape as you can see um, we can I'm actually going to increase the corner radius and, uh, scale scale this down okay so now we're going to right click and enter into our layer styles here I'm going to apply a stroke uh, color black and go for like I don't know eight pixels obviously this is relative um, to your uh, frame size all right I'm gonna hit OK now uh, our text I'm using the font for Doka 1 and type teleport we're going to right click copy layer style and, and right click paste like so this will go right here I'm going to decrease the size uh, it's like five I think eh, looks pretty good okay all right now for the icon I'm going to grab this icon from our vector icon pack which you can grab at our store at gfxcomment.com anyways this will go uh, right at the corner obviously okay looks pretty good so far um, I actually <laughs> I'm gonna increase the stroke here. Actually, I'm go for like two. Yeah, that's fine. New layer. Uh, we're gonna go for ellipse and select on the uh, this color here and drag out our close button like so at the top right. We go for stroke. Uh, like five pixels is this color right i think it is yeah, it should be actually let's make it brighter okay i'm going to copy our text remove the effects and go for x like so resize you can make this like let's see 28 no 30 pixels no, too small. 32, 34. All right. <laughs> okay, that's fine. All right, now for our content, uh, we can go for rectangle. All right, so I'm going to grab a gradient from one of my other designs here. Um, I'm gonna show you guys what the colors are. Um, okay, well, it's a Okay, so the first color is okay. So the first color, second. Okay, right here. If you want to copy the code, first color, and and second, right here. All right. So essentially, I will uh, disable the text. This will go right here. It is a 
simple rectangle. Uh, you want to account for the scoreboard right here. So leave a bit of space. I'm going to resize this little shadow. You go filter, blur uh, this thing out. There we go. And also increase the corner radius. 15. No, 25. Um, 20. <laughs> okay, this is fun. Uh, I'm gonna copy our, well actually I don't have to. This text is the same. So grassy world or any text you want. Go for like 28 pixels for size. Okay, here we are. Looks pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna copy the same. Um, this will be our, I don't know, frame. Copy. We're going to disable the, well, uh, the shadow and change the color and also the text. Like this. All right, so basically this is what we have. You want to ensure this has a nice contrast so that the text is still legible. All right, um, this can be anything. So like fire, <laughs> but fire um, right here. I'm gonna go for like ice. All right, now at the very bottom, um, actually I'm going to fix the spacing here. Looks better like that. Okay. Now at the bottom, I'm going to copy our text. I'm gonna disable stroke, change the color. And go for unlock all and resize 32, I think. And copy our frame here. Okay, so obviously we have to resize our frame. Um, I think this should be fine. Okay, perhaps reduce the corner radius. Um, this will be, but look, the price here. Okay. Basically, this is very simple, right? Resize the mainframe. And yeah. <laughs> um, and yeah, here is our teleport frame. Very simple. Um, now we have to basically recreate this thing inside of studio. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna see you guys inside of Roblox studio all right so here we are uh the only asset i have imported is the teleport icon um so yeah we're going to begin with a screen gui teleport we're going to we're going to add a frame and call this canvas and go fit anchor background off and go for scale I'm gonna go for frame. I'm going to call this our main, and the size is 590 by 626. We go for a corner object. We go for corner radius scale of like 0.1. No, that is far too much. Uh, 0.075. Um. That's all right, I guess. I guess it could work. Okay, I'm going for scale. Um, let's add our text, our title. Uh, let me zoom in real quick. Okay, so we're gonna go for uh, text scale, text color white. We're going to add a stroke and like five, four pixels, I think, in thickness uh change the font 
I'm sorry, teleport. Uh, resize, resize this um, bounding frame. Uh, text is gonna go up here. Background is off. Uh, copy and paste the stroke to our main. Increase the size. Let's take a look. I think like seven pixels. All right, I think the corner is, the radius is too high. So I'm gonna go for like 0 0.06, I think. Yeah, <laughs> I guess, I guess that's okay. I'm gonna go for a five on the text stroke. And, uh, all right. Now for the close button, uh, add a frame. The color is F2 2020. So background color, boom. And you go for corner uh, one for scale. This will be our close. We're gonna add a stroke like so, and also grab our text X. Remove the stroke on the text here. And go for anchor. Now, as you can see, um, go for a convert to image right here. Oops, go for a fast scale actually. Scale our text, and here is our nice little close button. Uh, scale our text here. Okay. Um, next, I'm gonna add an image for our icon, teleport icon, copy, you know, paste, you know, background off and also fast scale. So basically fast scale adds the UI aspect ratio constraint right here. All right, so for us now it is time to create our list. And so let me uh, try and grab the sizing for us. Okay, so scrolling frame 543, 396 is going to be our uh, frames size. Basically, we're going to add a list. We're going to add UI list inside of uh, our scrolling frame. We're going to add a frame, frame, and call this template in. 5, 12 by 83, like so. Uh, I'm gonna go for background off, I'm gonna go for scale. I'm gonna go uh, control C, control shift V. This will be our main. Bring the background back. I'm gonna go for fit, fit parent, set anchor. I'm going to add a corner. Uh, Probably like 0.25, I think that works. Okay, uh, main, gonna add a stroke. You are stroke here, four pixels, 3.5, maybe. <laughs> We're gonna add a UI gradient right here. Rotation, negative 90, 90, uh, we go for our gradient, gradient here so green color uh, first color and then our second color right here okay looks pretty good um copy and paste our text or right, so add our text and I'm going to and I'm gonna copy template here add some padding 0 0.015 0.012 and no gradient on this thing and also no text stroke we'll change our color for this frame the text as well as the text color like so 
remove the background for our scrolling frame. And now we're gonna add some, um, we're gonna add some padding to fix the stroke thingy. That is, that was an accident. Okay, padding, top 0 0.005 and left 0 0.01, 0 0.012. Okay, and now we're just going to copy that, and lastly, we are going to copy our main here because <laughs> this will be our button um, 162 by 69 in size. This will go right here approximately uh, at the little pricing and copy our text bring it out here unlock all remove the stroke and change the text color and you'll convert all these Boom. All right. Um, okay, our text has to be scaled. My fault, my fault. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's take a look. This is what we have. I think it looks pretty good. All right. If you guys enjoyed this video, uh, drop a like down below. Check out our store. Join our Discord. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video.